Hello, beautiful. Some of you reading this title right now may be like, what the f My water now is ruining my hair? Oh my God, what the hell, why? I'm here today to unlock a new fear for you. It's the fear of water. Is that a real fear? Let me look it up. Of course, it's called aquaphobia. We're gonna unlock that today, I guess. Is that bad? Today we're gonna talk about hard water and the effects it can take on your hair. It is very likely that a large group of you guys watching me today have hard water. And I'm sorry that I have to be the bearer of bad news. I don't want you to live your whole life with hard water ruining those damn hair follicles. It's disgusting, it's scary. So we're gonna figure out today if you got hard water and what to do about it and how to fix the situation and move the f on with your life. But uh, yeah, why don't we just get into the damn thing? Let's do it. So what can hard water do to your hair? Well, just to name a few things right off the bat to get you nice and horrified, it could be causing dry scalp. It could also be making your hair extremely frizzy. Maybe you're like, what the f is going on? Why is my hair always frizzy? Hard water? <laughs> Possibly. And if you're blonde, it could be making your hair brassy, taking your toner out of your hair really quickly after getting it done, wasting all your money. It could also be making your hair chronically greasy. It's slippery, oily, greasy mess constantly. Nobody wants that. So it says here in my notes, hard water refers to water that contains dissolving compounds of calcium and magnesium and even sometimes metallic elements. I don't know about you, but that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Guys, I did school, but it school didn't do me. If that means something to you, honestly, congratulations. Otherwise, who the f really cares what it is? Maybe do your own research if you really want to get into the solid deets of what hard water is, but it doesn't really matter. All we need to know is it's ruining your hair. I hope at this point I've gotten you really nervous and really scared that you may have hard water living in your pipes, creeping into your hair, running down your body, all over your skin, ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry yet, we're gonna figure out what's really going on. I have some questions to ask you and you're gonna have to answer yes or no to them. Yes, meaning, I uh, yes, this has happened. Yes, I have this thing or yes to whatever the question is. No, meaning, no, this has never happened or no, I don't have this problem. So once you answer these questions, yes or no, and do you remember your answers or write them down or something, we'll try to figure out if you have hard water or not. Question number one, does your shower head or faucet in your bathroom or any part of your house have white residue like this on it? Yes or no? Number two, if you have blonde hair, does it very quickly turn brassy, orange, or does your toner rinse out very quickly, meaning like one to three washes after getting your hair done? Yes or no? Question number Three. Do you have a hard time getting your shampoo two suds up and nice and lathered? That lathy lath, do you? Yes or no? Four. Is your hair flat, weighed down, and frizzy all the time, no matter what you do? Yes or no? Five. Is your hair greasy all the time? Does it look like you just put coconut oil on your roots? Yes or no? Six. Are you suffering from thinning hair? Yes or no? Seven, does your hair tangle easily? That is the last and final question, yes or no? Thank you for taking that quiz. Let's uh, gather your answers, count how many yeses and how many noes. Now, if you answered yes more than three times during this quiz, you probably have hard water. The world is crumbling. So now that we figured that out, you're probably still watching if you have hard water. But I wanna make sure that we're correct here, okay? So let's quickly go through some other tests you can do to make sure that you actually have hard water and not just thinking you do. And then I'll tell you how to fix it. How to make sure your hair is not falling off and damaged and greasy and frizzy and gross from your hard water. There are are ways to fix this. You can one, get a hard water testing kit on Amazon. Here they are. You literally just take the tap, I think, and like put under water and it tells you what the hell's going on with your water. Two, you can take an empty plastic bottle, put a few squirts of soap into it and some water and shake it up and see how much suds you get. If it's a lot, your water is fantastic. It's great. If there's literally none or very little suds, you have hard water. You can also call your local water company and ask how the water is in your area. They should be able to tell you the quality of your water. And lastly, if you really want to know what the hell is going on and you got a few coins to spend on this 
send your water into a lab to get tested. They will tell you exactly what minerals and contaminants are in your water, which honestly sounds really cool. I might just do that for fun. So the number one, probably most effective way of fixing this problem, but also the most expensive way, installing a water softening system. It actually brings the ions to the tubes and does all this shit and it makes your water softer before it even comes out of your spout. So if you don't wanna do that, I totally get it, but that is one of the most effective ways of fixing your water is installing a system in the back end where the water comes from in your house. A more simple way of fixing your issue is installing a shower filter. So when the water comes out of the head, it's actually filtered beforehand and gets rid of a lot of that hard water, but still, you know, it leaves it with some, it's not fully effective, but it will really, really reduce the amount of hard water that is touching your hair. You can also use chelating shampoo, which is a fun little name for a shampoo. This removes dirt, product residue, and mineral buildup from your hair. So it is a very good and very effective at removing some of those hard water effects on your hair. You can also use things like Malibu C hard water uh, packets. I don't know what they're really called, but this is what they look like. You can purchase right down below, and this will remove the buildup that you're experiencing with your water and it does a really great job at making your hair nice and blonde or just really bright and shiny if you have darker hair. There are also some DIY things you can do to remove hard water buildup. You can do a diluted vinegar rinse on your hair, which will also help remove products and mineral buildup from your hair. You can also use lemon juice, which also does the same exact thing as the vinegar does. If you're traveling or something, you know there's hard water, you can actually just buy water from the store and use it on your hair to shampoo it. I I know that's kind of ridiculous, but it is something you can do. So that is it. Hard water is something to be a little afraid of, but everything will be fine. You can find a solution to your problem. I just wanted to let y'all know that this is a thing. And I realized that not everybody knows what hard water is and not everybody has heard of it. So I hope that helps you. And maybe uh, that'll help cure anything that you're going through with your hair. Um, I know it can be difficult when you don't know what the hell is wrong with your hair. So maybe this is something that is happening that you don't even even know about. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Click the like button and the bell icon to stay notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me. Go for it. You can text me at this number. Yes, it is really my number. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. And yes, I really do see your texts. So text me and I will be texting back a few of you guys right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like amazing hair color and hair care, while well, you can shop my very own brand Xmondo at xmondohair.com. It is linked below for you. And if you would like some hair inspo, some color inspo, you can get it at Xmondo Color on Instagram. And some hair care inspo, you can get it at Xmondo Hair on Instagram. If you guys would like to live your extra life with me, you can shop my Live Your Extra Life merch now, right down below at xmondohair.com. It is so freaking cute. I wear it literally every day of my life when I'm not feeling like getting dressed because it is so comfy. And it's really cute. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Anna. She says, I have virgin hair and I'm considering getting a section near the front colored, but I don't know what color. My hair is dark and red and curly. I love your videos. You're too much. Thanks girl. You're fun too. Okay. 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 I love your red hair. I love the haircut. You're so sassy. You're so fierce. I can tell you have a great personality. This is what you should do. You should color the front pieces of your hair bright pink. Like my color is super pink. Would look so good with your copper hair. It would look off oh, the copper with the pink in the front. I'm getting a vision and it looks so good. So if you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo. Give it a shot and go for it. I believe in you. I look fierce. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.